Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're watching me for the first time, my name is Valentine Mukeni. Karibu sana tunapenda wageni. For the returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Kama kawaida, thank you so much for the support. So guys, one of the fan told me to bring huku UK and guess what? Nime mtafuta huku UK, we're just chilling here and we just have some questions for, um, I have questions that you may need to ni muulize na jua ko hapa acha yeah. aje introduce awamie yeye ni nani for those who don't know him karibu sana asante sana <laughs> yeah kwa leo tawanijui mimi naitwa Timo channel inaitwa huku UK e, na Valentine amekuwa kinitafuta mpaka leo amenipata leo amefanya nitoke Ocha huko Ipswich nikakuja London <laughs> so yeah menita interview ni my first ever interview so mikin ni show me subscribe kila kitu eh, follow so count akujua ma student life ku hustle ukiwa ndani ya London si ocha kama sisi mm -hmm. so undi ndio mseo ku follow yeah okay all right um thank you so much uh, i don't really take it for granted kwa sababu i know you have a very busy schedule eh, karibu sana asante eh, so napenda kwanza zinafanya pale um kwa nini kwa ya channel yako because mm. you're not you know like oh shafika huko UK so like you're helping yeah. other people to find a way to come here unajua yeah. venye like maze we are just looking for money na yeah. kama kuna venye unaweza come to look for you know greener pastures kama yeah. unaweza pata greener pastures huko yeah. and there is a unaweza fika huko yeah. you're doing a good job because you're helping those guys yeah. out there yeah. so Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, you should be um, a bassad hmm? now. Una fa kwa bassad wa Kenya. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kenyan Embassy UK. <laughs> yeah, you you need to put a Make sure you subscribe, okay? Yeah. All right. So, uh niko na maswali kidogo hapa nimepewa na one of my fan and actually hmm. I think it's your is your fan as well. Ah. I mean, you Lisa, hmm. is it easy for an international student to start their own business in UK? Yes, it is very easy. Mm -hmm. So the only challenge any everyone faces me kama uko na pesa. So mm -hmm. if you have the money to start the business, mm -hmm. then you can start. No, there's no restriction. Mm -hmm. UK is very open. You can open a company if you want. Mm -hmm. It's it's free. It's like 10 pounds hata ni cheaper kuliko Kenya. Hmm. Kenya I think kufungua company ni 13k last time nilifungua huku hivi ni 10 pounds 10 pounds eh yeah. only to register a company mm. so very cheap na ni online mm. na ni instant hakuna kitu inafanya ni instant ni kama kununua credo alafu unaanza company yako unaanza kuuza vitu mm -hmm. so the only challenge tu ni unatafuta pesa eh yeah business location kama utakuwa online ama mm -hmm. kama utakuwa physical store mm -hmm. e, na huko hivi kila kitu ni online so hata ukiwa na shop lazima uko na website mali wasa wanaweza buy mm -hmm. wana order alafu na wa delivery okay. so yeah the only challenge ni pesa okay yeah na kama unataka kuja huku not as a student but just as a business person mm -hmm. kuna business visa business visa inaitwa investors visa but it costs 100000 pounds 100,000 pounds. Yeah, uh -huh. you need like 20 m. Yeah, Kenya. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if you have that kind of money, then you can come here but and they'll give you a visa. As a student, you can come and then but now as a student, mm -hmm. unless you do it online because uh, if you do it physically, mm -hmm. uh, that will be that will mean you are working na ita utakuwa unaenda against uh, visa rules zako. Okay. So wakikupata mm -hmm. wata cancel student visa yako. Okay. Which yeah. nikulize sasa. Yeah. Sasa in this nini of uh, starting a business. Yeah. Can you start unaona kama venye kuna kuanga na party za Kenyans in the kama kuna a very big event na kuja yeah. 29 yeah. and 30 July yeah. in Kenyans in the park. Yeah. Do you think that it's easy for me kama yeah. sasa nye, nye, nipike chapo zangu yeah. alafu niende ni niuze huko yeah. is it that easy ama yeah. i need some As, le, some formal mm, letters legally mm. bonini so biashara kama hiyo mm -hmm. 
eh, food stand hiyo kama venue imekukubali kuuza vitu mm-hmm. na hawahitaji like any documentation ama nini mm-hmm. hiyo unaweza fanya juu haina any hakuna venye like wase wa visa watakui what i trace Okay. Yeah, but kama ni like kuna employment contract alafu mm-hmm. unalipwa to your account alafu inakatwa tax. So hapo wanakushikianga kwa tax. So once mm-hmm. meremit hizo ma national insurance tax, so gavando inajua unafanya job more than you're supposed to do as a student. So hapo ndio watakushika. But kama una uko event kama hizo na unalipwa cash, mm-hmm. then hakuna vile watajua. So hii ni kama kukikemboi. Kem, yeah. <laughs> eh ni kama kukemboi but uko na papers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So okay. as long as job yote unalipwa in cash, cash in hand. Mhm. Uh-huh. Hiyo utawaipatikana. Okay. Yeah. So but, like naweza pika chapo zangu. Eh unaweza pika chapo zako, upeleke huko ufungue food stand. Uh-huh. Eh uambie sasa itabidi umeambia watu ni cash only. Okay. Eh okay. ama kuna accounts mingi pia unaweza nini? kuna accounts mingi zinazotakupatia hiyo mashini ya ku ya ku tap mm-hmm. so ya yeah, unaweza tumia hizo hazita hazita kuwa na any problem okay. eh, unless bank ya kuletea shida but sasa itabidi mostly tena ukwe cash mm-hmm. cash only ama uchukue mtu mwenye ako na ayuko on student visa okay. aku collectie hiyo cash alright yeah still under business i think yeah. I'm, i'm more interested in business than never before yeah. kwa sababu huku uko na ma opportunities mingi mm. for student yeah. unaona kama braids kutengeneza yeah. braids actually it's very yeah. expensive huko yeah. so kama uko na skill yeah. na unajua kutengeneza braids yeah. alafu ujitengeneza ama unatengeneza mse yeah. you know people give compliment They're like yeah. who did it usikie yeah. ni valentine yeah. so like hiyo utakuwa unafanya ka business mm. Yeah. But chini ya maji cash. na unalipwa yeah. cash. Yeah. Unaona? Yeah. So, so I think it's easy kuanzisha. <laughs> yeah. Hiyo ni rahisi kuanzisha. I don't know if we're giving the right mm-hmm. information but yeah. survival mechanism yeah. mechanisms for international students yeah. unaweza fanya vitu kama hizi. Yeah. And that will really help. Especially kama hapo unalala kwa student hostel mm-hmm. unafanyia madem wote hapo unawafanyia cheap. Right. Una find out tu unapata tu dem amefanywa hairstyle anambia wewe ulipa how much anakuambia wewe nilipa 50 pounds anambia wewe kuja nitakufanyia na 30. So wewe dem ataambia kila mtu wewe utafanywa na huyu 30. Mhm. Na uta dogo tu. Okay, so tumaza na biashara. I think yeah. pia is the same to see on it kai kama tunaongelea madem peke yeah. even machali like hata machali kunyoa pia. Yeah, kunyoa nywele. Mm-hmm. Mimi nishainywa nywele nilikuwa na charge wa si mm-hmm. 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but wa Afrika ji wazungu wanapenda ngama style zao nywele zao ni ngumu. Kwa okay. Afrika msana anakuambia wewe ni nyoe kipara. Unamnyoa kipara. Okay. Na mchado kidogo. Na uhitaji a lot of skills. Na uhitaji skills mom. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, the next question ilikuwa where is one can acquire job visa? Job visa ni mostly experience. Mm-hmm. Na qualifications. Mm-hmm. Na inategemea ni job gani mm-hmm. so kuna hawezi pata job visa ya job zenye sorry job zenye kila mtu anafanya so okay. jobs kama gani cleaner hakuna job visa za cleaner za masji so, watu wa supermarket mm-hmm. jizo anyone anafanya na kuna oversupply huko hivi but hizo ma jobs na specialize mm-hmm. job zenye ziko rare mm-hmm. so vitu za zina vitu zina deal na healthcare Mm-hmm. Eh, ma daktari, ma nurse, ma care assistant, security. Maybe? Security hakuna. Hmm. Juu huku hivi kuna watu wa security wengi. Okay. Hata mimi nishaifanya security job. Okay. Na sijasomea. Right. So hiyo ni kila mtu anafanya. Mm-hmm. So hakuna job ya security. Mm-hmm. Alafu huku security lazima ukwe umefanya inaitwa SIA. So Security mm-hmm. Industry Authority mm-hmm. ni Eh, license huku hivi so hawezi kuja tu unafanya security bila hiyo license okay. yeah so ukikuja kama student unaweza fanya hiyo license inakuanga ya inakuanga ya 300 pounds yeah 300 pounds unapewa badge ukiwa na hiyo badge hiyo ni job nyingine poa sana actually ukikuja mm-hmm. ukikuja kama student mm-hmm. na we ni mwanaume uko na body kubwa mm-hmm. si kama yangu Unaweza kula. Eh sema upate hiyo security mm-hmm. license mm-hmm. inakuanga 300 pounds. Mm-hmm. Eh inaitwa door supervision. Sia door supervision license. Mm-hmm. 
yeah alafu hizo job hizo za do supervision mm-hmm. una work kwa ma concert wewe ndio pale eh, security una collect ma tickets mm-hmm. kwa ma bar mm-hmm. wewe ndio unasimama kwa doa una, unaitisha watu id mm-hmm. na hizo job zote zinalipanga cash azilipi okay. kwa account mm-hmm. so hiyo ni kitu moja unaweza earn income kawe ni chali si chali hata madem peke yake as a student mm-hmm hiyo ni kitu unaweza fanya unlimited juu hizo jobs nalipanga cash peke yake hakuna vinye gava itakupata wow yeah Munasikia. hata dem yeah uh-huh. hata dem unaweza do kama uko na like body kubwa <laughs> unaweza <laughs> unaweza do juu anatafutanga so demand iko actually demand ya madem security guard ni more kuliko ya machali mm-hmm. juu hakuna madem wengi mm-hmm. wanafanya hiyo job mm-hmm. so kawe ni dem uko na body kubwa hivi hata itangi haitaji ati una kuna training nyingine wanataka tu body kubwa ukika uko na body kubwa mm-hmm. nika unaweza shitua 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 madem mm-hmm. eh, kawe ni dem mm-hmm. then u, unatosha so unafanya tu hiyo course unapewa badge yako mm-hmm. unaanza kupata hizi ma shift zinakuanga mob sana kila mahali wanahitaji msee wa do supervision na zinalipanga cash in hand so hiyo ni like job yenye unafanya huku after yeah. umepata visa yeah. unakuja unapata unafanya huku yeah. lakini unasema mm-hmm. um, jo, alikuwa anauliza ways one can acquire job visa umesema mm-hmm. kama hiyo ni one being a student to yeah. come here and get yeah. other jobs so kama wesi <coughs> kama wesi <coughs> student uko Kenya unatafuta tu work visa mm-hmm. then lazima ukwe na skill high skill so hizi skill kubwa kubwa ziko skills za healthcare eh, watu wa IT computer mm-hmm. programming na gani nyingine ya yeah, mostly ni hizo ya yeah, software market. engineering mm-hmm. na healthcare mm-hmm. hizo ndio vitu peke yake zinaleta wasi na kwa healthcare ndio the easiest lakini lazima uko at least na one year experience mm-hmm. yeah software engineering lazima uko the best of the best Juu ukikompea eh juu ukikompea na watu wa software engineering hapa mm-hmm. hivi watu hivi wako 15 years old mm-hmm. wako na the same level ya mtu wako Kenya amefanya for almost 20 years mm-hmm. so lazima ukwe like the best of the best ukikuja hiyo route ya software engineering ndio hao sio waone like uko na value kabisa kwa kwao yeah aya the next question ilikuwa mm-hmm. um how job agencies vary from one region to another Mm. Anasema we have some job agencies agencies mm. which do not operate in G, EG in Midland but in Scotland. Mm. Yeah so uku job agencies job agencies zinakwanga mm-hmm. so, zinakwanga like sometimes nyo agency tu ni ni, ni mse tu ako na mbi ka kampuni mbi ako na staff mm-hmm. wawili ama watatu mm-hmm. so yeah so most of the time hawapendi cooperate the mm-hmm. jobs ni mob sana uk mm-hmm. so ata agency anaweza fulfill eh, income mm-hmm. from hiyo town yenye yuko peke yake juu ako na jobs mingi openings mingi zenye watu wanatafutwa mm-hmm. so awananga aja kuenda kwa town zingine mm-hmm. so unapata mmoja agent moja tu ana operate tu like London mimi ni wa London peke yake so mwingine wa Scotland Edinburgh wewe ni wa Scotland peke yake mm-hmm. so mostly ni because like hiyo market yenye wako mm-hmm. of mali ofisi yao iko mm-hmm. ina inatosha kuwapatia enough business so haina haja waende different towns so utapata mostly agents zina operate kila town iko na like different agents oh okay yeah. alright oh actually that makes sense. Yeah. Cuz you know there are so many jobs and eh, jobs ni mob sana. So hakuna haja ende town nyingine apate expenses za kuenda huko mm-hmm. kutafuta CG ofisi nini na jobs zenye already ziko hapa zinamtosha kulipa expenses zake okay. na kumpatia biashara. Alright. Yeah, but mm-hmm. zinaweza sometimes zinapatanga hizo agencies zinakwanga na jobs zenye ziko town zingine. Mm-hmm. So unaweza pata ako hapa but ana recruit for another town ama ako hapa na company yenye ana recruit for iko na branches all over UK so ana recruit ya hizo branches zote ziko places zingine okay. yeah okay aya swel so, hiyo swel nyingine hilo swel yeah. nyingine yeah hilo <laughs> <Hil, hizo. laughs> hicho the next question is, <laughs> we um the, the guy was asking we have yeah. nigerians who manage to bring their families to UK and mm. it seems so easy 
How is that possible? Can Kenyans deprecate that? Yes, Nigerians wanaletanga family zao through na student visa. So mm-hmm. the first person anakuja, anakuja mm-hmm. na student visa. Mm-hmm. Alafu wanaleta the whole the rest of the family as dependents. Oh. Yeah. So mm-hmm. unapata ni mmoja. Na usually inakuanga the woman. So wanakuanga tu wamesema, "Eh, hey, tunataka ku move to UK." Mm-hmm. So you ukikuja na student visa uko restricted. Mm-hmm. Unaweza fanya job only 20 hours, 20 hours per week. So you like 2 days mm-hmm. in a week. Mm-hmm. So hiyo sasa student visa mm-hmm. wana vile wanapanga hizo family zao wanapanga ni the lady ndio kuje na student visa mm-hmm. alafu walete hazi kama dependent so okay. hazi ataweza kufanya job full time mm-hmm. na dem akoe tu student na anafanya hizo jobs part time and can you bring your sister you can't as a student no like, kama dependent mimi, ni spouse bibi bibi ama bwana yes so it's not like bringing the whole so kama no. uko na familia unaweza mm. leta watoi yeah but i can't bring my mom i can't no. bring my sister mm. and dip, ni, ni, dip, eh. dependent ni watu wenye una take care of in terms of spouse and children okay. family so anyone tunaita extended family si dependent so wako Okay so yeah. if i want to bring <laughs> so if you are a student and na unataka kuleta msee huku labda hiyo awe like lazima kwa spouse, spouse yako ama kwa watu wako period yeah okay mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah all right um and then alikuwa but can kenyans do the same yeah yeah kila yeah everyone can do right so it's just that other nationalities maybe nigerians they are willing to take risks they have go than getters. us yeah those so guys us, are go get and they you don't know. and they don't use agents us we rely on agents nigerians don't use agents they do everything themselves mm-hmm. uh, kenyans us we are just waiting for who, who is the best agent who is the best agent you pay money <laughs> and most of the time you don't even have the money you are just looking for an agent who will do it for free mm-hmm. and then you pay them back when you come mm-hmm. and that's how you guys are getting scammed mm-hmm. but nigerians they go and get the money and do it themselves okay so yeah i hope you heard that yeah i mean this is for everyone kila mtu anaweza fanya the same yeah because yeah. It, nigerians have the worst passport and they are the most people here guys, the most those... africans here na sisi kenya tuko na probably the best passport one of the best but na we are looking huku, for agents that's not after agents to kuje huko yeah. you know mm. and nigerians are very hard working by the yeah. way me i have i will give them credit yeah. those guys are hard working the next question will be the cause that you do and what survival tactics can you give kenyan in uk who wants to hustle and study really hard and smart <laughs> uh, i don't do any course <laughs> uh-huh. so me i'm not a student mm-hmm. me i'm a chef mm-hmm. Yeah, me I studied chefing. So, yeah, me I'm a chef. So professional. Yeah, professional chef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I do mm-hmm. to earn a living. Mm-hmm. Uh, advice for student do a course that is marketable. So anything to do with business in UK is not marketable. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't give you a visa a work visa mm-hmm. is very hard unless you are the best of the best mm-hmm. and which you will probably not be because there are better people here mm-hmm. who are like british citizens mm-hmm. yeah so choose a course that is marketable mm-hmm. probably something to do with healthcare or it mm-hmm. or uh, a science like you know a science if it's a science then it's uh, marketable mm-hmm. yeah IT computer science environment science mm-hmm. anything science science uh, which one else data science mm-hmm. actually even my data science they are very new data science although that one is probably going extinct because ai is going to do most of that mm-hmm. so soon it will yeah so soon that one will go extinct those jobs yeah science or healthcare related then those ones have more opportunities than mtu amefanya business management that's a it's a useless course 
not in a bad way. Yeah, not in a bad way, but <laughs> do your own research. Yeah, Bus- <laughs> because business management. Mm-hmm. Me, I've not done a degree in business management, but I manage a business. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people in Kenya who have shops, mm-hmm. uh, who have shops, who have like businesses, car washes. All of those people are more qualified business managers than people who are studying for business management. So you are more qualified if you are actually doing the work than if you are studying for it. Wow. So yeah. what, what, I think the, the advice of giving students me like, do your own research. Yeah, do your own research and don't just rely on the course mm-hmm. to give you a job. Mm-hmm. They don't just look at the course here in UK. They don't even look at what you studied. Mm-hmm. They look at your people skills, soft skills, mm-hmm. IT skills, mm-hmm. like how quick you are, how you can uh, create solutions to problems. So your papers are the last thing they ask for. Yeah, so develop other skills outside the classroom mm-hmm. so that you are not, uh, most people are jobless especially in Kenya, because you are relying, you think like the, the degree is the one that's going to give you the job, but it's not. The, the next question was um, how to obtain a driving license in UK, like show the steps to a Kenyan comrade. How does one come later to integrate it to Kenya driving license? Uh, you can't integrate it. Mm-hmm. It's driving license in UK, near UK, ya Kenya, near Kenya. Okay. But you can drive with either in mm-hmm. any country. Uh, but for a limited time. So at some point, they will ask you to apply for a license in that country that you are driving in. So I can come from Kenya with a driving yeah. license? Yeah. If you are coming from Kenya, mm-hmm. at least come with a Kenyan driving license mm-hmm. so that you can use it for up to one year Okay. in the UK. Mm-hmm. So the Kenyan driving license. Mm-hmm. So you can use it for up to one year, but after one year, you have to apply for a UK license. So you'll have to do the driving test for UK. And then if you pass it, is when they'll give you a UK license. So I couldn't shortcut. There's no shortcut, okay. yeah. <laughs> There's no shortcut, <laughs> yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. How to write a good CV? I don't know how to do CV. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll show you yeah. guys. But so, yeah, 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 and he has done a video. Yeah, I have an old video. Probably I'll make an updated one. Yeah. But before that, Valentine at Atengeneza, how to write a CV. Because then you are for Hero Market. Your CV, na mechora, na mepata jobs. <laughs> you probably do it Based on that. quicker than me, but either yeah. way. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, CV depends. Because me, I'm a chef. Chef, we don't have CVs. Mm-hmm. In UK, we don't have CVs. So you just say, hey, I can cook, and then you show up at that place for like a trial day. You work there for one day for free. They look at you, they see you. If you're good, they hire you. Yeah. So, yeah. So CV, UK, it depends. In Kenya, CV, a Kenyan is standard too. Ile ile. Mm-hmm. You know it. So it's the same one in Kenya. It's the same one also in UK, but maybe you just need to change a little bit of stuff, but it's the same, same thing. Yeah, I think I'll show you my experience, even when I was like, trying to look for a placement. I've written yeah. so many CVs yeah. then they reject me. Yeah. So I'll show you maybe I share with you yeah, 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 accept mm. to my place of work. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I'll share with you guys. Um you know Sally I'm sure you're yeah, the first person who asked the questions. Mm-hmm. And then the other person is asking Ni job gani ziko UK UK kuna job zote. <laughs> uh-huh. So swali so, nyonauliza ni utafikaje huku? So number one reason kwa nini asanteka hivi number one reason why you will not come here is because you are relying on agents so you should do your own research uh, the content is all over everywhere google kama unataka kwenda a certain country hiyo country lazima ziko na website only african countries uh, website uh, government zao zinanga websites but anywhere outside africa Ziko na websites na ziko na detailed process. Kwa unta kwenda UK, unasema, hey, how to come to UK, work visa, government website, iko hapo na iko na details zote. So, hakuna aje uende kwa agent, hakuambie SG, nini, 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 na details ziko kwa government website. Mm-hmm. So, kama una, lazima, like, you need to do your own research. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of YouTube videos of people 
so many. Yeah, if you have noticed why Nigerians are many, is because they make a lot of YouTube videos mm -hmm. teaching each other how to come, which is what me and Valentine we are trying to do. So if you ask me which is the most reliable agent, neither of us used an agent. We did our own research and we made it here. So we don't know any reliable agent and the ones we know, they steal from people. So <laughs> you guys, you need to do, <laughs> do research, mm -hmm. find out what visas are available to you. Mm -hmm. If you want to come here, there's only there's very few, there's only three visas, student visa, work visa, and uh, dependent visa if you are married. To, to someone who is here so those are the only three visas so you need to make yourself fit into one of those okay. visas All right. and that's how you'll come okay. yeah do people need two to three jobs to survive in the uk you don't need two to three jobs it depends on your circumstances so if you need more money then you'll get a either you'll get another high paying job or you'll get a second job yeah, so inategemea na circumstances zako. Wewe una uko comfortable na pesa ngapi? So mimi mimi nataka pesa mingi in the shortest time possible. So me I do as many jobs as I can. But utapata mtu mwingine anasema ah hii salo inanitosha. Mm -hmm. I can only live with this one. Sitaki mm -hmm. kujisumbua na job ingine. Mm -hmm. So utapata huyo akona job moja. But here you can do as many jobs as you want mm -hmm. uh, depending on the time you have and your health situation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think that is self-explanatory. Yeah. There are people who want money and they, they don't yeah. want to sleep. Yeah. They want it so Mataka, bad. Yeah. So, you know? me, I'm one of those people. Me, I'll, <laughs> I'll sacrifice my sleep to get another, yeah. another job with a, some extra money. Right? Yeah. Lakini kuna mtu atalala tu, aseme, ah, me, yeah. I just wake up tomorrow morning yeah. and do my normal work. Yeah. It's so, also okay. Yeah. Kunona? Ata yu ni sawa pia. Mm. Yeah. So hakuna mtu ana kujudge wewe well, mm -hmm. you know the life you want to live. Yeah. Yeah. Other than student life international nini nini hizo vitu zote tulikuwa yeah. tunaongelelea mm -hmm. I just want to ask a very personal question what is that one thing that you've learned about life? Um I'd say uh four words it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah so Whatever reason to do something or excuse to not do something, it's all in your head that you you have to create um, opportunities mm -hmm. for yourself. You have to pre to be prepared for opportunities to find you. Mm -hmm. And if they don't find you, then you create them yourself. Mm -hmm. So, someone told me, you have to create an opportunity for an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if there's no opportunities, then prepare yourself for the next opportunity that will come. Could you give, like, a personal example? So, example of... is, uh, like, if you, are, if you want to travel abroad... Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, yo, I want to travel abroad. How do I do it? They're asking that, but for like the first thing they have not done, they have not even applied for a passport. Mm -hmm. Some of them, like they have not even, they don't have any research on, they don't know where they want to go. Mm -hmm. They're just saying they want to travel abroad, but they don't know where mm -hmm. and they don't know why. Mm -hmm. So someone will tell you, oh, I want to go to the US to the UK and then when you ask them why they don't have a why they just want to go so that shows like they don't have a purpose they haven't really thought about about that so they have not prepared themselves for that opportunity because opportunities don't announce themselves that they are coming mm -hmm. they just come abruptly so if they it finds you unprepared mm -hmm. there's always someone who's more prepared than you and that's the person who's going to to grab the opportunity so hence so you that's why you're saying you prepare yeah. for an opportunity yeah you prepare an opportunity yeah. how did you say it create <laughs> opportunities for opportunities yeah create opportunities yeah. for opportunities so even if you can't see it happening mm -hmm. in any time in the future mm -hmm. but you need to be prepared that if it happens mm -hmm. you are prepared for it you need to have a plan for it 
let's say if someone approached you, maybe you went somewhere, you worked somewhere for a bit, or you met someone, and that person liked you and told you, yo, I want you to visit me in, in the US or in the UK. Uh, I want you to visit me in two weeks in the US. I'll give you a visa, I'll pay everything for you. You don't have to do anything. So that is an opportunity. Someone is paying for you. You don't have to spend anything. Mm -hmm. The only problem, you have never even applied for a passport. Mm -hmm. And passport, African countries might take up to three months for you to get it. So that opportunity will just yeah, skip you just that. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So prepare for opportunities. Mm -hmm. Like if you're planning to have a car, at least do a driving course. Learn mm -hmm. to drive. Get a license. Once you get a license, then you have created that opportunity for you to buy a car. So the car will find you. Nature will just create an opportunity or create a way for you to get a car because you already have a license. Same way, if you just have a passport and you don't have the money to travel, mm -hmm. something will come up and you'll find yourself traveling. Okay. And you'll ultimately use that passport. So, yeah, it's the same way like... If you have a phone, you'll have people to call. If you don't have a phone, you won't call anyone. So it, it operates the same way. So you need to create opportunities to make yourself ready for the big opportunities when they come okay. your way. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Thank you. Meeting you. And Thank I don't you. take it for granted by the Kukuja Kwa Me too. E platform. Santi sana. I know you, you're busy, you're a busy person. Santi sana, si sa, uko busy, UK kila mtu wako busy, so, <laughs> hey, like, ata wewe, yeah, ata wewe, uko busy. You know what, what happens, like, yeah. he, his free time, no time inye mi nafanya hey. kazi. So yeah. you find that people are so busy, they don't have time, time yeah. in a clash. Time in a clash. In a clash, you mm. know, yeah. So, thank you so much. Um, thank you. And karibu, karibu sana. Again, Santi. welcome again to my channel. Thank you, thank you. I know next time utakuja tukua to my group. Yeah, <laughs> next time ata mi na kufanya interview, but sasa yangu itakuwa online. Sawa. Itakuwa live stream, so okay. tutafanya hiyo very soon. Alright. At least this Inshallah. month. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Ata mi takutumia maswali, tufanya interview. Sawa. Asante. So, yeah. Ah, yes. thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Baraka, man. Baraka. Bless you. God bless, bless, God bless you. God, God bless, bless you too. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> ni, like, share. Yes, please. Everything to make sure Mefika 1,000 subs. Yeah. So to make sure Mefika, where you watch from Huku UK, make sure me subscribe. Kwaanta mm -hmm. kavitu kona vitu za London. Ni hu yu hapa. Miss kujangi la. Mina kujanga London like twice a year. Ya kama wanata kuona maisha London. Eh. Hey, <laughs> na maisha ya mtu wanafanya job na anasoma at the same time yeah. ni hapa. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you so much guys. Thank We you love guys. you so much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh.